Namaskar and welcome back to Linux Fundamentals. In this video, we will see what is Linux. Linux is one of the most popular operating system that is being used by most of the users in the world. Linus Torvalds was the person who had developed Linux in 1991 when he was a student in University of Helsinki. It is also known as uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it is the best operating system that has been used by most of the users across the globe. It's an open source operating system as it, it is delivered under the open source license. The source code is freely available with the operating system so that any user can go through the code and use the code and he can modify as per their requirement. It is also known as GNU Linux as it was released under the general public license and most of the utilities that are provided with Linux comes under the GNU or GPL licenses. Linux is used in many places and in many devices. As Linux is popular, it is majorly used in the servers that handles the huge load over the uh, over the internet majority of web servers and the cloud servers are are using or are hosted with linux operating system linux is also used in mainframe computers supercomputers embedded systems and nowadays linux also comes on the televisions so we talk about the smart televisions that has android on it also the smartphones that we use today are uh, are linux based so the android is built on the linux operating system so android uses the linux kernel we'll see what linux kernel is ahead now linux has got various components that play a very important role in linux so the very first component we see is the bootloader the bootloader is the program that runs before the operating system is loaded into the memory so bootloader is uh, is the screen that shows you how you want to boot your machine whether you want to boot your machine in command prompt or you want to boot your machine in gui so this is how the bootloader gives you a screen that tells you in which mode do you want to load your operating system secondly the major the most important component of linux is kernel the kernel is the program that is always running in the computer system so the kernel is majorly responsible for managing all the all the services in the system so kernel is the most important program that runs in your system the third component is init init is the first process that gets loaded into your computer when we start linux init spawns other processes that play a very important role in Linux. So init is the first process that gets loaded into the memory. The fourth component is the daemon. The daemon is a is are, are small software or you can say small processes that are running into your system and are waiting for some event to trigger so that it, it handles those events. So daemons are also small processes. These are running in the background. Users cannot interact directly with the daemon. The, the next component is the X server. X server is the is is, uh, is the is an application that is running in the system that deals with the graphics and other devices on your computer. So X server system helps you helps the system to provide the output and to deal with the input out to deal with the input device like your keyboard and mouse. The desktop environment, so as you see desktop on various operating systems, so similarly Linux has also got a desktop environment that shows all the programs in the form of the, uh, in the form of icons and you can see that it, it discriminates between the file and the folder and various applications have got various uh, icons. And finally the applications, the applications that the user installs or some of the applications that are inbuilt. So these are all the components of Linux server or Linux machine. These are the components of Linux. 
Now, why Linux is so popular? So, Linux is popular because of its features that we see that has made Linux very popular. So, the features like open source, as we have already said about open source, the source code is available with the operating system that we install on our machine. So, it's an open source software as it is released under the open source licenses. Then uh, Linux uh, has the feature of portability. Now, due to this feature, Linux can be installed on any system, any architecture. So whether it is 64-bit machine or 32-bit machine or uh, smartphones or smart devices. So Linux can be installed on any system. So this is what we mean by portability. The next feature is multi-user. So if, uh, if many users want to use Linux, so Linux provides the feature of multi-user where multiple users can get connected to the Linux machine and they can use the machine simultaneously. So many users can use Linux operating system simultaneously. So as many users are using Linux machine simultaneously, many users will run multiple programs simultaneously. That is what makes it multi-programming. So multi-programming is the feature that helps many users to run programs simultaneously. The users feel that they are using an independent machine. The hierarchical file system is where the files are stored in proper hierarchy. So the files and folders are stored in a one sing under one single folder that becomes the root directory and it is also identified as a slash. The next component we see is the shell. The shell is uh, one of the most important uh, features of Linux. Shell helps the user to interact with the system by providing the by executing various commands on the shell. So shell helps you to interact with the system with the help of various commands. Linux is highly secured as it is virus free. So one doesn't have to worry about viruses in Linux. So this is what uh, makes Linux very popular. So these are the basic features that makes Linux very popular and that is the reason why Linux is used by many people. So in the next video we will see what are the Linux distributions and which one will you use. So we'll talk about what Linux distributions are and how do you identify various distributions. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. If you have liked the video, please click on the like button and share your views and suggestions with us by writing in the comment section below and encourage us by subscribing to our channel and please do not forget to click on the alert bell so that you don't miss our upcoming videos on our channel. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe. Thank you.